Hello and welcome to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my travel art supply kit so it's what I take out and about with me and if you watched my latest video where I went out to the gardens for the day this is what I took with me. Uh, I try to make sure things are lightweight, they're easy to access um, and so I'm not weighed down by things and I can just get things out as, I, as and when I feel like it and work quickly on the page. So let me show you what I was using. Okay so as an overview this is what I took with me. So I've got a really nice long clear pencil case. Now this is plastic but for me the most important thing is I can see into it and at a glance I can see exactly what I want to be grabbing. So if I use my blue, for example, I was drawing with this blue pencil, I can just open up my pencil case and reach straight in and grab it. Okay, it also opens out quite wide like that as well, so it's quite easy to grab things which are towards the bottom. So that's huge for me. Um, I also want to show you kind of three levels of the things that I took with me. So you will notice here, I've got my paint palette. This is the number one thing and you can see actually it's a little bit messy, hence why I kept it in here. So the last time I used this, I didn't let things dry out first. I just shoved it back in this bag, which meant that it was easy. I could put this in my handbag. It's not making a mess everywhere because I've kept it kind of this way up. So this is sealable as well, which means I can contain the mess. But uh, yeah, this is my gouache paints. Now I wanna just preface here that acrylic gouache will not reactivate. So these are traditional gouache. These are my, hang on, let me just find them a second. So these are my Windsor and Newton gouache, designer gouache paints. So I have this box full of them. Now this is quite heavy and weighty and to take all of these tubes out would be a lot. So what I did instead was I kind of prepped this. I pre-mixed some colors. I was thinking about kind of blues and greens, ochres, maybe some pinks. So I pre-mix things and then I kind of let it sort of set and dry and then I could reactivate it with water. And this was a great base to use in my sketchbook because it dries quite quickly, especially when you're outside. It's a lovely kind of satin um, matte finish. You can get in some really nice color blocking with gouache and then it's quick and easy to work over the top. So this was my base layer and this worked really well. So I really recommend this. I'm only just starting to use more gouache at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. And I think because this is quite easy access and portable to take on the go, this has really, really worked. I am inspired to use more acrylics in the future, but again, that's gonna be so weighty to carry with me that just having this little plastic, really lightweight palette, it just, you know, you can barely feel it in your bag, so it's perfect to take on the go. So I'll slide this back in there. So that was what I used as my base layer. I then, over the top, worked with this. So this is the next thing that I wanted to show you. So part one was my gouache, part two is having a tiny little box. So this is a little cardboard box. It's basically a jewelry box. And I've got all my favorite Neocolor 2s in here. And I've also got my ink tents blocks. These were fantastic, especially this one actually. The greens were great because I could use these just in my hand like this, water activated here and use it as a paint palette, almost like, you know, you get the little pans for, for watercolor. I used it just in the same way. So again, I'll show you here. I have got a box, a big box full of all of my Neo Color 2s. And again, this is quite weighty. It's quite a lot. They're quite long sticks. I don't need all of that. So that's why it's quite nice to break them in half and then just use my favorite ones. So again, when they're smaller, when they're smaller sticks, they can fit into the box a lot better as well. So I try and keep enough that I can just pop the lid on and when it's put into my pencil case, um, it will hold it shut. 
So again, this is a great way to get down base color. You can draw with this as well. So again, on the go, it's not too messy. So you can scribble in and then water activate it. But yeah, so these were great to then use over the top of my gouache and it gave me some kind of extra texture. So just layering up color. So for both of these, the most important thing that I used, oh, the lids come off this one, <laughs> were these. So before I left, I made sure both of the chambers here of my water brush pens were full. I also took a bottle of water with me to drink, so I knew I could tip these in as I was on the go. But I knew that there was a cafe there as well, so they had toilets and there were sinks. So if I desperately needed to refill these, I could refill them at the sink. But I took these two, and to be honest with you, I think I really only used this one. So you can see the nibs are well used on these. But I've got a finer nib here and then more of a wide flat brush there. So this is good for getting down block color and this was good for trying to get sort of more details. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're well used, they're abused really, the, <laughs> the nibs on these, the ends of the, the brushes. But these are fantastic because then you don't need anything else. You can just squeeze here. If you pump there, squeeze, the water comes through. You can see it on my hand already. And then that's what I use to either activate the paint on here just like that, so that's now ready to go, um, or to reactivate my gouache as well. So these were fantastic for getting down a base layer. And then the third thing that I used, I mean, I have got a few of my acrylic markers, but I, I will say I didn't use these. So potentially these can be used as well in a similar way to get down block color, but it was my colored pencils. This was the third thing that was really useful to me. And I will get these out now. Um, and again, I've got a range. If you've seen my favourites, my top 10 favourites video, then you'll see all the different types of pencils that I love to work with. I have actually got in here a few Darwin drawing pencils, which again, the shades of these colours are gorgeous. So these were really, really fun. And it was a must have to have this with me as well because I was doing quite a lot of colouring, drawing. I also used my I also used my dark indigo, my dark indigo luminance pencil to draw in all the details at the end. And if you can see here, the nib was quite rounded, so it was an absolute must to have a pencil sharpener on the go with me and especially on the beach I didn't want to make a mess so having this chamber here meant that you know I can sharpen it to a nice point to get my details and again with the different um, holes in here as well then I can sharpen all of them as and when needed so yeah so these were fantastic and again I could just reach in these were basically for adding final details adding in extra layers pops of color um, and it worked really well and this was really successful on the go. I could have my pencil case next to me. Whilst I was on the beach I had my pencil case next to me so I could just reach in. It meant that nothing was falling away or rolling away. It's all contained but because this is quite a nice long pencil case as well it was easy to reach in and grab things. I did obviously have these two out with me um, but yeah really easy to access. So I'm going to keep working with these over the coming weeks. I might put these back in again. I know for for sure these, especially this one here, the beige, um, it's quite nice to have some neutrals that you can get some colours down. But I didn't reach for the, posh, for the Posca the first time I went out. But they do fit into this pencil case. So sometimes it's worth having a try with a few new things. I have got my brush pens as well. Um, so again, they're good for, for drawing with, getting down lines. I did use these for my shadow drawings as well. So whilst I was just sat on the bench, whilst the little robin followed me around, it was quite nice to either use these or again, one of my pencils and I could just jot down or I could just capture the shapes as I was there observing them. So yes, this is quite a quick video really, but I just wanted to show you uh, what's working well for me at the moment with my travel kit. And I love the fact that everything basically packs down and you can fit it just straight into a tote bag. That was what I carried with me so I could put my bottle of water in the side. I also had my big A4 sketchbook with me as well, which I wouldn't really usually take on a travel 
for traveling. So if I was traveling on a train, I would probably take a smaller sketchbook, but these work really well. It's not too heavy and I had enough supplies in there with me, but yeah, these could just fit straight into my tote bag with my big A4 sketchbook and that was everything that I needed. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope it's inspired you to go out and about and take your supplies with you. You don't need a lot, just take a few of your favourites and anything that's lightweight and you've got easy access to. So let me know in the comments below what's in your travel kit. Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't seen my full video of me taking my travel kit out into the gardens, this was my How I Overcome Artist Block video. I'll link that for you here now. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.